witch. He man the best and I go better than the rest and the fire team beat your chest. He's a schoolboy football, a team could rise and a team could fall. But you never will know until the whistle blows around, come enjoy the show. He's a schoolboy football. Yeah, just one change to the starting 11 of the Glenmuir side that beat Kingston College at the semi-final stage. Denzel Watson replaces Tayshawn Rowe at central midfield. As usual, they have a back four, Brandon Wallace at left back, Ramon Francis at right back, O'Neill Headley and Tavon Coleman at centre back. Watson is partnered in midfield by Jason White and their captain Kyle Gordon with Tashawn Cummings, Nyron Allen and Doreen Watson starting as the front three for the Andrew Peart coach side. Clarendon College champions only two seasons ago. Three members of this Clarendon College team started in that 21-2022 final against Intil. And they are captain Malachi Douglas, Christopher Hull and Kahim Dixon, who among them have scored some 55 goals this season. And they do have a fabulous supporting cast as well. Rache Borel in goal, a back four. We take a breath. Now we relive it. Stefan Duar taking charge of this game. Clarendon College, the first to venture forward with Christopher Hull, his right-footed shot saved by Antoine Gooden in goal. The opening goal came on 18 minutes and it came for Clarendon College, a play that started with their influential forward, Kahim Dixon, out to Christopher Hull, Hull to Atiba Green, Green across the face of goal and Kahim Dixon knocking it in for his seventh career Champions Cup goal, his fourth of this campaign. And he continues his fantastic form and history of scoring in all finals he's participated in in the last three seasons. Klintmuir took a while to get into this one. But their captain, Kyle Gordon, finally got going late. This one off to Jason White. And White placed it beautifully into the far corner. Rashid Burrell had no chance in goal. And then we were level at 1-1. That came completely against the run of play. It came out of nowhere, as we said at the time. But from there... It was for the most part Glenn Muir, the captain, Gordon, coming to life. His left footed shot over the top. And then in the second half, Arain Watson taken down by Nashawn Gold. He saw a straight red. And the outstanding national youth player, Carnan College centre back, stunned by the red card. But Carnan College would be even more stunned by the quality of this Kyle Gordon free kick ferociously poured into the back of the net his 10th goal of the season a strike worth a perfect 10 and Glenmuir were in front Aurene Watson should have done better with that headly delivery Malachi Douglas was fighting for Clarendon College at the other end that one was over the top and every time you thought you had seen everything in this game we just kept seeing more 3-1 at this stage to Glenn Muir and Kahim Dixon hit the left upright. And in the same play, the captain Malachi Douglas struggling to find space, somehow found space. And his shot hit the right upright. Kahim Dixon couldn't turn it home. And maybe that told us it wasn't Clarendon College's night. And then this mistake. I guess there can be no great game without an arrow. And it came from the Clarendon College goalkeeper, Rache Burrell. He timed this well, he got there, and the clearance was terrible. And Doreen Watson capitalized for his eighth goal of the season, the first in the Champions Cup this campaign for Glenmuir High, and that made it 3-1. The red party had begun. Kahim Dixon won a penalty for Clarendon College. Antoine Gooden wasn't happy with the call. Malachi Douglas stepped up. 
and produce his 17th goal of the campaign. And current and college weren't done yet. 3 2 at that stage. They would have one final shot and one brilliant save by Gooden. And then the final whistle came. What a match. What a final. Kernan College, 21 shots, 6 on target. Glenmuir, 9 shots, 4 on target. 23 falls in the game, 14 of them committed by Clarendon College. They had three yellow cards and a red card, Clarendon College. Five corners for CC, four for Glenmuir. The Glenmuir goalkeeper, Antoine Gooden, had to make four saves. Just one for the Clarendon College goalkeeper, Rache Burrell. And in terms of the possession, Glenmuir, 55% to 45. But the stat that matters not just in this game, but for a season, for a coach, for a set of players, is that Glenmuir win by three goals to two. What a game. What a game. There is no doubt who the player of the match is. It is the man who led from the front for Glenmuir High School, the captain, Kyle Gordon. He deserves KFC. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely, Ricardo. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, the man of the match, Kyle Gordon. Andre Roper will make the presentation on behalf of KFC. Yeah, let me have a chat with you now, Kyle. Fantastic game, Kyle. Last season, when we spoke at the Ben Francis Cup final, you told me that you wanted it all this season. Job is half done. Repeat. The job is half done for you. Yes, right now it's just to keep focused because we have our next final and don't want to get carried away, even though it's a good feel, always a wonderful feeling to win. Yeah, we have our speculation, but I want to know from your perspective exactly where did this game turn in favor for Glenn Muir? When we equalize. Yeah, I, 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 I want to ask you as well now, how was your regime to rest and recuperate for the upcoming the Costa Cup final going to be like? Well, as I said, just keep focused, don't get carried away and be stronger in the next game. Well done to you, Kyle. Richly deserving of the Man of the Match Award. Thanks. Well done. Yeah, so that was Kyle Gordon there, the man of the match. Excellent game he had for Glenmuir, the captain leading from the front. Let's hear, have a chat now with Coach Lenny Hyde. Coach Hyde, you went up early, basically, and uh, then from there, things started to really shake up after that equaliser. Do you think you lost it at that point? No, nah, man. No, nah, man. Even when we went down, we still got numerous of chances. We could have won the game. Even when we were down, we could have won the game, but... I must be smart to my team who played well right through the 90 minutes, even with the man advantage against us. I think we tried our best, but it wasn't meant to be, you know? Yeah, I have to ask you about the red card decision, though. Did you agree with it? I don't want to go that way, you know. I don't want to mention nothing about the ref. I just want to talk about my team and what we're going to do for the next game. Yeah, so well, let's talk about that next game. You yeah. play here again during the week, at the end of the week. Yeah. How are you going to prepare them now for that match? Yeah, man. We, we, we just rest them, get them replenished, and feed them up and, you know, get them motivated again. You know? All right. Coach, tough luck to you. We'll see you again later yeah, on man. this week. All right. Yeah. That was Coach Lenny High there. And I know we have a, a word with Coach Andrew Peart. Coach, last season, Ben Francis Cup. This season, Champions Cup. You must be a very, very proud man about that. Well, yes, to God be the glory. Um, as I said from the start of the season, it's a journey, a journey of three years. Um, and we're very happy to be in this moment right now. Yeah, so I thought the boys played a fantastic game. Especially coming from behind, I always knew that Clarendon College would start strong. Um, so we're hell-bent on denying those opportunities. But a situation presented itself for them that we spoke about and they capitalized on it. But it's about the desire because I thought in the first half we weren't playing as how we were supposed to be couldn't control the game but we got a lot of final third entries and good second balls recuperation which led to some threatening situations set pieces shots on goal so yeah yeah you pretty much said everything so let me just ask you ask you about how you're going to get high school and your of course is head of coaching education at the Jamaica Absolutely. Football Federation and what a lesson his team has delivered here inside the National Stadium tonight. Glenmuir champions of the All-Island Knockout for the first time in their school's history. A tournament that started in 2014 with the dark blues of Jamaica College winning.
Cornwall College and Clarendon College, the other rural area teams, to lift the trophy. And look one, look all. Which team are the best and not better than the rest? And if I hear team beat your chest, it's a schoolboy football. A team could rise and a team could fall. But you never will know until the whistle blows around. Come enjoy the show. It's a schoolboy football.